All right. I've been painting nothing but Necrons for a while, so I've decided to go back to my roots and paint some Tau. I spotted this broadside battlesuit at the store, and I had to get it. So after spending some time building this big fella, I base it and decide to try applying some Agrelin Earth to some parts of the armor before I undercoat the model. The idea here is that it'll help the armor look damaged and worn by adding some cracks to the paint job. I now spray on my black undercoat with several fine dustings to avoid clogging up any of the details. With the undercoat on, the crackle effect isn't looking too bad. Back at the desk, I get started by applying an overbrush of corn red to get a foundation going. I use a smaller dry brush for sections which are harder to reach. As I'm doing this, I immediately start to regret assembling the model in its entirety before painting it. There are so many places on this thing that are awkward to reach that it's going to end up being an absolute pain to paint. At this stage, I haven't really decided which parts are going to be red in the end, so I just coat all of the outermost surfaces. Thing I regularly do with my dry brush is test the consistency of the paint on either my texture palette on the right or my hand. This helps me figure out how much paint will come out on the model so I can avoid clogging up details. With the foundation down, I come through and start painting all of the recessed sections in Corvus Black. Learning from my mistakes painting the stealth suits, I've decided to paint all of the low-lying parts first to avoid making any mistakes on the upper sections later on. Here I do some tests with hash out copper on some of the details of the feet, but decide to revisit this later. In 
the meantime, I clean up and solidify the corn red foundation with a layer brush. Having painted several other minis now, I've really come to appreciate corn red as a colour in just how smoothly it applies. Very little effort is required to get a really nice clean finish with this paint, and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good red colour. I struggle a fair bit with the areas that are blocked by the arms and shoulder mount of the battle suit. Next time I do something like this, I'll only assemble the individual parts after they've been painted to make my life easier. I now return to the legs to clean up the distinction between the armoured sections and the skeleton of the battle suit with a fine brush.
At this point, I realize I made a mistake in the assembly, so I pry off the offending piece and reattach it in the correct spot. I then clean up the areas affected by the adjustment and revisit those metallic details on the legs. I really like how just by adding these tiny points of copper, the model really starts to come together. I love this color scheme and I'm definitely using it for all of my future towel builds. I bring in some Corvus black details to help break up the model here. I then start coming through with Wazducker Red to help break up the Pawn Red, which currently dominates the majority of the Mini. Unlike Corn Red, however, I really hate working with Wazducker Red. It's super annoying to get a nice smooth finish with and constantly leaves brush marks. To combat this, I'm forced to thin the color down significantly and work in several super thin coats.
I want corn red to remain my primary color, so I try not to go overboard with my use of the Wasducker red. then come back and do some metallic details that I missed in my first pass. Here I decided to paint this round part of the emblem white. The consistency of the paint is terrible and triggered some bad flashbacks to when I painted a Necron with a white colour scheme. I also choose to paint the front rim of the head white and spend some time adjusting to get the consistency correct. Now as I'm editing this together, I'm realizing just how long the video has gotten and I can't see any sign of a satisfying breakpoint, so I'll be cutting this one off here for the time being. This is by far the biggest model I've painted so far, and I've been having a blast doing so. Subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you next time.